Hi, Ken Smith here one more time. This 1997 base came in from the original owner who custom ordered it. Because at the time we just started making these bases, he wanted an upgraded five piece neck. And this was made as a walnut body, as a maple body, excuse me, was the standard. He wanted the walnut body. So we got a name MW, which we later used for a different model. So sometimes we're not the best of separating model names over the years, but we name it for the time. This here, as most bases do when they're old, they come into us pretty dirty. And I'm talking about the dirt and gunk on the fingerboard. You know, although it seems like it's clean, I take this ruler here and I run it across the edge with the strings off, you know, of the fret at an angle not to scratch the wood or the frets, but just get it in there at a slight angle. This is not very sharp. And it pulls off this little bit of dirt and mud that's caked up in the edge of the fret there. And I do it on both sides of each fret, up and down, sometimes twice. Uh, I use, to clean the fingerboard, going this way, so I don't scratch the wood, three different grades of what's called Scotch-Brite, which is like steel wool, but it uh, doesn't come apart like steel wool as far as getting, you know, magnetic dust on your pickups. So we use this. That's the first one. Wipe it off with a paper towel or rag in between. And then when I get to the, the gray, which is it, we'll, we'll take out those scratches and it polishes up the frets. At that point, I might want to go back and do the edge of the frets one more time for any stuff that's getting stuck in there. And you wipe it down, and the paper towels get quite dirty. And you don't realize that's the dirt on your hands. You could be touching your face or whatever, eat food. So there's a lot of dirt that could be on the, on the base you're not aware of. And this is the final grid. It's, it's not so abrasive. I can apply, finish with it. And this is the, uh, almost like a zero grade. You know, it doesn't have any abrasiveness, but it does polish it up. So like roughest, medium, fine, if you want to label it that way. And then I use my wax polish that we use for kind of uh, reviving the finish. I mean, I'll do a little bit right now on the body, just get an idea, you know, see how the body is right now. And you put some on here, it's a little bit on the rag. You see it gets a little bit wet. This is basically lemon oil mixed with carnauba wax. It's not a hard finish, it's just a cleaner and it revitalizes the wood. Okay, I'm just doing this edge because I don't want to get any on the pickups or the string. And then you can compare this side to the other side, which I didn't touch. And I'll just take another rag here and you wipe that down. So that just livens up the finish. And, you know, any surface dirt will lift it up with that. So you can look at this side and this side, this looks a little more dry. So this is good to use, you know, now and then when you're playing the bass and it looks a little dull, just brighten it up with that. But I put that on the fingerboard. I'll go like this, like, you know, with the, with the cover open, just tap it and get a few dots or whatever. Then I'll wipe it in and wipe it around, wipe it off, let it sit. The wood will soak it up. Then I'll do it a second time and let it sit. So what happens is you're putting oils back into the fingerboard, which it needs to breathe. And it also, on, like with an ebony, would help prevent it from cracking from the dryness. So this is Murado, very stable, uh, nearly as hard as the ebony, has a warmer sound, longer sustain, and it works great as fingerboards. It's also known as Palferro, Murado, Caviuna, Bolivian Rosewood, many nicknames. And it's not a rosewood, which is a Dalbergia species, it's a macarium species, another tropical wood. But it's a, it's a great product to put on the fingerboard as well as an oil finish. This is not recommended though for a lacquered finish because it's just be smearing grease on it. For that we use the Smith Pro Formula Polish that cleans and shines. This is a very good product. But don't use this on oil finish because this is a water-based product and this is oil-based. So this is for oil finish bases and fingerboards, and this is for lack of finish bases, but not for fingerboards. You know, use this. If you can't get any of our stuff, you can use regular 
drugstore mineral oil. It's uh, simpler, not as good, but it's better than nothing.